Everyone, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. The Chicago Bulls here to defend the home court playing host to the Western Conference. It's stolen by Vucevic. Awesome backcourt battle tonight, Steve. Let me ask, are we in a guard-centric league right now? I think we are, Kevin. I mean, obviously, it was more balanced back in the day, guards and bigs. But with the three-point shot, it has really made this a guard lead. Now here's Thompson. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. Stephen Bangs Curry. home the trifecta. Assists aren't Thompson's strong suit, but he smartly feeds a ready shooter. Now here's Williams. Got a piece of it. It's stolen. Del Mar or in. in the city there is something for everyone Along with Grant Hill and Brett Berry and our sideline reporter, Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. So Golden State will get the first possession. 
Here's Curry. Thompson right side. Oh, he missed the chippy right there. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. From the arc. Counted from distance. Nick Grand, you look at these rosters. A lot of talent in the backcourt. Oh, a sign of the times, B.A. Agility and skill is in demand, and that is on display tonight. And there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. That's his first foul. A terrific box out that draws the over-the-back call. Got there early, and his anticipation of that play was rewarded by that call. And that one's good. Thompson. Play not forcing anything, just waiting for his time, collecting points in the flow of the offense. Pass to Levine. On the wing, Levine. Back to Vucevic. And he banks in the layup. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Ball with a steal. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to Vucevic. Yes, sir, and it's ball with the assist that time. What a passer this guy is. I love how fast ball is at noticing when the defense has just overcommitted. Curry. And there's another one for the Warriors. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. For a player who came into the league with as much fanfare as Lonzo Ball, it wasn't the smoothest start, Grant. He dealt with a lot of injuries and adversity. NBA, that makes the NBA learning curve that much steeper. Lonzo deserves a lot of credit for how he was able to stay grounded and stay focused. He tuned out the noise and kept developing his game. Here's Thompson. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. Just such a confident scorer seeing Clay get into these areas on the floor and still being effective. Got to appreciate that part of his game. Now here's Williams. Six on the shot clock. DeRozan it outside. Deflected! And that's great defensive awareness from Stefan. He sees that shot coming and he hustles over to get a hand on it. Bull substitution. Tony Bradley. The Warriors leading. Derek Jones. Jr. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. It's stolen. White with it. Now Wiggins defending. Offensive board. Pass to Caruso. It's DeRozan with a drive. Second chance effort. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Feel like Wiseman covers every area on the floor, and that's a nice block. The Bulls, the Bulls making a switch here. Just two to shoot. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. And here are the Warriors now. And here's Curry for three. Knocks down the long chain. Curry's got five. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Warriors basketball. Minute 32 left to the first. for your Warriors. Pool outside. Inside. Oh, deflected. Stolen by Caruso. Pass to Brown. Who poked away. It's stolen by Looney. The three is up. And Bielitsa, good for three. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Oh, come on, B.A. I mean, where's the defense? That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job and help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, 
and then their guard gets let down. Here's Bradley, and here's Brown for three. Kept alive. Pass to Jones. Six to shoot. Second shot opportunity. Troy and it's Brown. laid up and in by Brown. Assisted by Just Derek owning Jones the painted Jr. area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's Lee. Takes the three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Warriors. Golden State basketball. Eight seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Tipped. Here's Bielitsa. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. Get up on your feet and welcome your Warriors. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, guys, they are dialed in from long range already. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. Here's Ball. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Curry with it. Picked up by DeRozan. Launches a three. And that's good. Stephen Curry for threes. Curry's got eight points. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And it's going to be a three-second call. Ooh. Talk about a way to deflate the team. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. One thing you got to love about Nikola Vucevic is that on offense, he does it all. For big, he's got a terrific three-point shot, and of course, he regularly posts big point totals. Here's Williams. That drops, Williams. and it comes off an assist from Levine. As we've seen him develop in this league, Levine has become a better passer, willing to move the rock. Pass to Thompson. Here's the three. No luck on that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Well, there's no denying that Vucevic's offensive output really makes him a great example of a modern big. Yeah, his abilities at long range definitely help stretch the floor. But he can also be an old-school menace down low, gobbling up rebounds and owning the paint. Ball. And down it goes. Two points. Ball's got his first basket. It was so hard to knock Lonzo Ball off his center of gravity. That time, a good job of keeping his composure around the challenge. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Stolen by Wiggins. Pass to Thompson. There's the triple. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Now Vucevic. Thompson with a steal. In transition, here come the Warriors. And that one's good. Green. Draymond Green making a good call that time in the open court. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me, the rim, and the basketball. Powerful words from Stephen. It is a thing of beauty, Allie. Excellent. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be Warriors ball. A big group substitution here for Chicago. Coming onto the floor. And a crazy stat here, Brent. For nine consecutive seasons, the league has broken the record for three pointers made. Man, where does it end? I don't know. I think we're redlining on the uh, tachometer at this point. PA. A lot of teams electing to play that space and three point ball type of offense, but we're reaching the outer limits. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. 
We've got 155 left in the second. Kick out to Brown. Pass to Caruso. Here's Bradley, guarded by Wiseman. Wiseman's going to block a lot of shots in his NBA career. Can't hit from in close. They set the pick. Now here's Curry. They grab their own miss. Great positioning on the putback. Wiseman. And the Warriors lead by 21. Ooh, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Here's Caruso. And the three off target. And here's Curry. 14 points for him. And the three-pointer goes. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltender. There's 47 seconds left to play in the half. Sends it home from three-point land. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Caruso. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Jones. Clock at four. Up and in from the low block. Jones Jr. And here are the Warriors now. They're on a 19-6 run. To the left side wing. And here's Thompson for three. Another three for Golden State. He's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Here's Jones. And that's not going to go. Well, that's all right there because Draymond angled his body so well defensively and altered that shot. 18. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Here's Ball. Outside, Williams. DeRozan outside. Pass to Vucevic. Williams on the wing. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feed. Three points. Williams has got five now. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. And it's the Bulls with the ball. And, of course, the veteran, DeMar DeRozan, getting a new contract this past year. I mean, he joined the Bulls on a three-year deal, and I think he should do a great job as a veteran presence for an upcoming Bulls roster. Here's Vucevic. Warriors with the rebound. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. And here's Curry for three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Ball into the lane. He shoots a three. And again, it's Chicago with a three. And he just moves so well without the ball. DeRozan stays locked and loaded for catch and shoot opportunities. And the Warriors miss again. Pass to Levine. Uneasy two on the layup. It's been a blowout thus far, but they're trying to get back into the game. 
One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. And the shot's good by Wiggins. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. It's stolen by Green. On the wing, Curry puts up a three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. On the wing, DeRozan. From outside, off the mark. And so it's Golden State with it. Curry with it. He's picked up by Levine. Curry's shot is off. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect Golden from State him. Foul. Good man. Good the defender really went after him. That's his first personal foul. The first one falls. Shooting for Chicago. And Williams drops them both. Lonzo Ball really working on his shot and starting to find the consistency that one would hope for, but it's all the other things he does, the rebounds, the assists, the steals. I mean, he really contributes to all levels of the game. Chicago with the ball. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. On the wing, DeRozan. Back to Levine. Kicks it to DeRozan. Just five on the clock. No good with the triple. Another area you see Lonzo's diverse skill set is in his shooting ability, Brett. Well, that's the one knock coming in, and he's shown people now that he can step up and knock those down. So close range or at the arc, Lonzo getting more and more comfortable and confident in his offensive ability. Pass to Vucevic. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. The Warriors are trying to get back to the top of the Western Conference. Stephen Curry said, quote, it's tough. Guys want to outperform and exceed expectations. Nobody is content just being middle of the road. It's a challenge we all need to take head on. Yeah, they're trying to bring it all together, Allie. Thank you. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. And the basket by Lee. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Looney with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Williams from long range. That shot off the mark. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Cool for three. Another three for Golden State. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Kicks it to DeRozan. Can they get it? And so the ball out of bounds. DeRozan touched it last. Basketball. Coming onto the floor for the Bulls, Derek Jones Jr. And so it's the Golden State Warriors building a mountain of a lead up 31 points as this quarter concludes. The hustle. Welcome your Warriors. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And so it's Golden State with it. On the wing, Green. Oh, got a piece of it. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. Bradley, that's good. Assist Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim. That's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Curry, no good. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach. And he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. And they'll get another chance. Yeah. 
Four on the clock. Pass to Green. Fires from deep. And it's Stephen Curry with the three. Curry's got 20. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Here's Caruso. Pass to Johnson. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. Clay Thompson. That'll be a second foul That's of the his game. Second personal foul. First team foul. Left side, Brown. Shot clock at six. Curry with a steal. To their benefit, they've cut down on the miscues here in the second Old half. Foul. And an intentional foul right there. That's it's just a bad foul. foul. Gotta be smarter than this. Outside Curry. Connects from downtown. Curry's got six here in the quarter. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. Outside Jones. Just five to shoot. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Here's Bradley. And again, Chicago no good. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Nails it from beyond the arc. 26 points for him. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every Derek time Jones down, Jr. the resulting possession Rudolph. ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. Pass to Thompson. 4-3. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Thompson's got 20. You know, Thompson coming right back and Clay saying, yeah, I know I play deep, but I also hit threes. That's a nice response. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Buries it from three. And this is what you think of first with Curry. His three-point shooting ability is just otherworldly. Three-pointer. Another three for Golden State. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Wiggins, left side. From behind the arc. Sinks it from distance. Wiggins making quick decisions with the ball, not wasting any time getting that shot off. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Warriors. One area where they set themselves apart today, their aggressiveness in getting steals. It really hindered their opponent all game long. And of course, it helped spark their own offense. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Stephen Curry. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way, too. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. Basketball. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And a coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. That'll be a five-second call. Ooh, talk about a way to deflate the team. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let him get that good of a look. A teachable moment there, lapses like this are backbreakers. 114 left in the fourth quarter. From deep three-point range. And the Warriors with another three. Curry right now dialed in. It's like he finds a shot every trip down the floor. Warriors basketball. Coming onto the floor for the Bulls. Golden State with the ball. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. 
And a deep three from Curry. Another three for Golden State. This is why Steph Curry is virtually unguardable. When he's sinking those kind of shots, it just devastates you defensively. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe settling a score with his coach? Hmm. So you're saying that he's out there right now protesting in some form or fashion? Vucevic's shot is off. Curry with it. Guarded now by Ball. With the step back. There's the three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Vucevic. Basketball. They've been making plays at both ends during this run, Grant. When you're in a groove like this, there's no better feeling. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. And here's Curry for three. He drops it from range. Curry's got 52 points. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin, showing that they're the far...
Let's start aboard the Concha Del Mar. Rack up the XP at set sail event. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. And it'll be the Trailblazers off the tip. Lillard with the ball. Pass to McCullum. Here's Powell. Lillard outside. The three is up. Monk grabs the miss. And two conference rivals facing off here. Grant, what were some of your fiercest rivalries at the NBA level? You know, when I was in Detroit, it had to be the Hawks and I think probably the Bulls. I think the Bulls were everybody's rival in the Eastern Conference back then. And then, of course, in Phoenix, we had some real battles with the Lakers. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Westbrook outside. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Outside Monk. And Nurkic with the block. Showing off the timing and awareness defensively. Better think twice before Russell, challenging Westbrook. Nurkic. Three hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. On offense, here are the Lakers. It's James with the drive. Powell with a steal. To the middle. And Powell with the stuff. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. McCullum outside. Pass to Covington. Back to McCullum. McCullum draws the double. Here's Powell. And the 10-footer finds the target. You know, this is why you run the offense through Damian Lillard. I mean, sure, he's going to get his, but he's also going to make sure others get theirs, too. Monk for three. Here's Davis. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. 
Second chance points are always painful. You have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. The Lakers in the lead. To the inside. Howard's shot's good. Howard. You know, with AD's improved court awareness, when guys Two on this team get open, he'll find them. Two minutes. Well, Anthony Davis helped rescuing the Lakers from some lean years. In the six seasons prior to his arrival, they'd missed the playoffs more times than in the previous 65 years of the franchise. And a year after they got him, they're hoisting the Larry O'Brien Trophy. And now with his new contract, he should help them compete for a long time to come. Lillard with the ball. Now guarded by Monk. There's the triple. Here's Nurkic. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. From Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Westbrook. On for three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Excellent use of his physical gifts. Goes up strong and captures the board. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player and Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. Here's Westbrook. A shot that time not on target. And it's Portland the other way. For three, here's Lillard. And again, it's Portland with a three. <laughs> I just love the ball. Game. 27 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Monk. Inside. Howard. Dwight uses Howard. the glass on the layup. Howard's got six. Sharing the basketball is a part of the game that Monk needs to continue to add to to complement his shooting. Out to McCullum. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. And stolen by Covington. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's the Trailblazers. They lead by four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Give it up for your Blazer dancer. Your Blazer Dancer. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Trailblazers, what do you guys think? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Trailblazers. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Yeah, Jordan. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said titles won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. Well, different perspective, Allie. Good stuff. For three, Covington. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. Covington's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. To the paint. Here's Jordan. Boy, Jordan still going up. Man, he's been lighting up arenas for over a decade and still major bounce. And that one's good. Covington. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. Blazer ball. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. 
The Lakers, Lakers making a switch here. Rajon Rondo. Down low. It's tipped. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lillard. Make a great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Shot clock at six. Here's Ariza. Oh, Covington with a block. No, sir, not today. Don't come in here. Covington not having it. Blazers ball. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Picked by Covington. Fires from deep. Offensive rebound. He came up dry offensively in the first, but it looks like he's ready to turn it around. That's Ariza penetrating. Oh, a dunk and a foul! A powerhouse move! He's got a chance for one more at the line. On Robert Covington. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know, I, I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that really read the floor. They understand and can pick apart defenses at any position. Those two are the ones that stick out the most. The During the seeding games in the 2020 bubble, Damian Lillard carried the Blazers to the playoffs. I mean, Dame averaged 37 a game. That included a ridiculous 61-point explosion. Baysmore drives to the inside. It's stolen by Nurkic. And stolen by Anthony. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Assisted. You know, big guys yeah, like Jordan who can facilitate a really valuable spots the open man and gets it right to him. Here's Lillard. And that one goes. Four for seven for him so far. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. And for much of his career, Jordan has been surrounded by unbelievable talent. Well, you think about it, B.A. Paul and Griffin in L.A., Durant, Irving, and Harden in Brooklyn. I don't know how you get much better than those five. <laughs> and Nurkic comes to help. Who poked away. McCullum with a steal. To the left side wing. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. For three, here's Lillard. Rebound by the Lakers. To the middle. Oh, Covington with a block. As Los Angeles keeps possession. Los Angeles ball. A minute 22 left to the second period. Anthony Outside, Davis. Rondo. LeBron James. It's Davis Rondo with the drive. And Davis slams it Anthony home. Davis. When Davis is driving with momentum behind him, watch out below. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Anthony, left side. Pass to Davis. And then Davis, Davis. slams it in. Clear that Davis loves to put on the show for the fans, and putting on the show is exactly what he's doing. Started out strong from three-point land, hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. No good. And it's Portland the other way. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Defensive foul, Anthony Davis. Showing more aggression here in the second quarter. He's seeking contact and working himself to the line. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Davis. And it's Portland with a rebound. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. And here's Covington from behind the arc. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. Covington's got 11. And that's really good use of the catch and shoot. Outstanding by Covington. He's a quick decision maker. 
and he usually makes his decision as the pass is being thrown to him as to what kind of shot he's going to get off. Just a big time effort for Damian Lillard, providing a lot of energy for the Portland Trailblazers. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. All right. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Doubled by McCollum. Monk with it. He's picked up by Lillard. Here's Davis. Oh, Covington with a block. They retain possession. They recover it. And Portland has possession. 19-point game. For three, here's Lillard. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Here's Westbrook. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That's his first. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And stolen by Covington. Powell for three. And Davis with the block. And they'll get another chance. Stolen by Davis. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. He can't hit that time. And Russell Westbrook on the move once again. This time to the Lakers. Now, what's interesting, I mean, he played so long for the OKC Thunder. And now on his fourth team in the past four years. But still, you can't deny the impact when he's on the floor. Back to Westbrook. Clock at six. Inside. Howard. Dwight Howard. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Howard's got four points this quarter. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find you. He's a selfless distributor. Portland again missing. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. To the paint. Back to Monk. Westbrook drives. And he converts Russell the layup. Westbrook. Westbrook's got seven. You know, one of the things you have to do to try to stop Westbrook is get physical with him. Bump him, slow him down some, especially on drives where he's looking to go right downhill, down your throat. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. And here's Monk. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. He goes up again. And the Russell nice bucket Westbrook. inside from Westbrook. They're really fighting a losing battle on the glass. Guys, it is not that complicated. When a shot goes up, hit and go get. That means hit your man and then go get the ball. James with the ball. Two minutes Picked up by Powell. Two to the minutes. inside. And That's Davis David. slams it home. The assist. Yeah, you know, LeBron is already top 10 in career assists, okay? And he's also continuing to rack up the dimes and climbing just about every all-time chart there is in the NBA. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. Yeah, you know, they're Russell, hustling Russell. and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Allie. Thanks for that. To me, this is Howard's specialty. This is his bread and butter thing here. We all know this guy loves to throw it down whenever he can. He's pretty good at it. James with the ball. 
He's picked up by Lillard. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Pass to Davis. And the Lakers tack on two more. Assist from I think this particular Russell play Westbrook. hinges on Davis' shooting ability. But you've got to set him up right in. The basket is virtually guaranteed if you do. Some changes now for the Lakers. Powell with it. On the right block. Great positioning on the putback. And the Trailblazers lead by 11. I love the relentless attitude he showed there. Got himself in great position under the glass. He had the presence of mind to know exactly where the rebound was going. And then the nifty touch to tip it in as well. well I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Pass to Anthony. Wide open. Hello, Anthony. Again, the Assist Lakers. Boy, always cool to see big guys dropping time. Jordan's playmaking ability is coming along. For three, Covington. Offensive rebound. Great job of crashing the offensive play. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the corner. Their entire defense is designed to stop LeBron right now, and that's been effective. Back to the game after this break. It's the fourth. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Portland leading. To the left wing. Nance for three. That's a three and the three-pointer goes. Larry Nance, Jr. Nance has gotten himself on the board with a three there. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Trailblazers? Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Over to the wing. Three-pointer. Here's Zeller. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. Hey, you know he's around, and that's what he does. DeAndre Jordan throwing that shot out of there. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Inside. Oh, it's stolen by Zeller. Hey, who got you? Here's McLemore. Three-pointer off the mark. Right side, Rondo. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, I tell you what, the defender did a good job That's trying to challenge personal. that shot, but Jordan's strength caused him to create the foul. The the Both teams will make substitutions. Now Portland with it. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. James with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Lakers substitution, Anthony Davis. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. He drops it from range. Lillard's got nine points here in the second half. Bombs away in the first half. He's followed up the effort with three more triples since. Russell, Russell. That one's good for two. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. The three, here's Lillard. Buries it from three. Lillard's got 31 points. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. Well, you know, that's exactly Russell, their plan Russell here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Here's Lillard. And the dunk by Lillard. For the ability to knife inside and convert, Lillard is fearless when it comes to attacking the basket. Pass to Anthony. And Anthony oh, slams Anthony. it in. Assisted. What he might lack in Russell height Westbrook. at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. 
Lillard outside. Oh, Westbrook with a block. Hey, the athleticism of Westbrook not only on display offensively, he can throw shots out of there, too. Here's James. The shot comes out. And it's Portland the other way. McCullum on the wing. Over Monk. Here's Nurkic. Two Pass to Lillard. In the game. For three, McCullum. Rejected by Westbrook. Yep, James that one's good. And the Trailblazers lead James by 15. Miller. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Anthony keep the David. pressure on him. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Yeah, when you look at Monk's shot mechanics, they're really solid. Even with the foul, he completed his follow-through in his shooting motion. Impressive. Like a lot of young players, B.A., it took Monk some time to get going, but he's found a stride in the NBA now. You know, Clark, with Malik Monk, you can see the improvement he's had. Yeah, it's about efficiency. We knew he could put the ball in the basket, but now his shot selection has improved, and I think he's gotten better as a ball handler, too. The three is up. James gets a hand on it. Great anticipation that time for LeBron. He sees the shot forming and gets there to swat it down. There's a minute 34 left to play in the fourth. Connects from downtown. Now Los Angeles with it. Down by 15. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Trailblazers. One area where they set themselves apart today, their aggressiveness in getting steals. It really hindered their opponent all game long. And of course, it helped spark their own offense. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Damian Lillard. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team, I mean, he was amazing tonight. There are not many better on the offensive glass than Howard. He's a flat-out beast, especially if you don't box him out. Lillard, the open look. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there, and neither can he. And LeBron James gets the three. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency. <laughs> He could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Soft touch off the LeBron glass. James. Yeah, you know, LeBron's mental strength is just so, so focused that nothing much phases him. He stays locked in. James with the block. And he's able to get it back. Knocks down the triple. And the Trailblazers lead by 15. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. The three, here's Lillard. That's good, and it's McCullum with the assist. Lillard's got 39. Davis. Can't connect from short range. So it's the Trailblazers winning this one easily. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding...
all games played on
15 and 16 will Here's Lillard, Abdul-Jabbar the screen, to the paint, the shot will not fall. Excellent D there from Markkanen. And on a tear shooting the ball in these recent seasons, Tim Hardaway Jr. has really locked in from long range. 
Well, you think about it, for so long, this guy was more of a volume scorer. He's been feasting now on the open looks, and that has really helped his percentages. Nash with it. Lillard picks him up. To the inside. Here's Markinen. Stoudemire wide open. Pass to Nash. They get a bet. Markinen. And finally they hit one. And remember, at seven feet tall, Markinen is tough to keep off the board. Solid at tracking down misses on that offensive glass. Now here's Lillard. Connects from three-point range. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And here's Nash outside. On the wing, Hardaway. Pass to Stoudemire. And here's Nash. Count it. He's setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. That's his first and the whistle blows. Foul. It's going to be on Steve Nash. That is his first foul of the game. Home team on D. Lillard surveying the D. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Pocket six. From deep three point range. Rebounded by Hardaway. There's the three. There's the lob to Markinen. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Pass to Nash. Now here is Martin. Offline with his three. Back to Lillard. Here's Worthy. Stolen by Markinen. Pushing it up. Hardaway with a wide open look. A three-pointer is right on target. I just love how confident Tim Hardaway Jr. is from long distance. This guy will cash in from there. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Sean Kemp. Jason. 149 left to play in the first. Here's the screen. Pass to Lillard. And that one goes out of bounds. Pass touch by Lillard. Team basketball. Into the 139 left in the first. Down low. Here's Kemp. And Kemp slams it in. Yeah, once he gets to the rim, it's lights out. Kemp, just too much power and explosiveness. Lillard from outside. Offensive rebound. Got a piece of it. Tatum on the wing. No one near Curry as he lets it go. No good there. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Gets one to fall, but only a second make in the first seven attempts. Now here's Curry. There's 47 seconds left from the first quarter of the game. Shot clock at six. Curry on the wing. To the middle. Here's Tatum. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And you think back to that 2017 draft. Shooting for your Scouts trying to poke holes in Tatum's game. But really... He just needed a little time to develop his skills and get stronger. Williamson right side. From deep. It's not going to go for him. Outside worthy. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. 
Lillard outside. Back to Worthy. Can't hit that one. Good D by Williamson. Outside Fournier. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Stolen away. Nice job to up the alley-oop attempt there. And that does it for the first quarter. The Golden State Warriors. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? You, you got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Kevin. Count the basket. And I'm a big fan of the awareness of Nash on the floor. A, a selfless player who's just fantastic at getting the ball to his open teammates in rhythm. And really a good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Checking in for the away team. Now here's Nash. Inside. Out to Hardaway. Pass to Kemp. Outside Hardaway. Back to Kemp. Nice D from Porter. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Stackhouse. Nails the wide-open jump shot. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Pass to Nash. Outside Hardaway. Five to shoot. Into the lane. And the rejection by Love. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Love. Into the lineup for your home team. Larry Markkinen. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. And too long on the shot. It's tipped and stolen by Nash. But three. Love grabs the board. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet. The good-looking shot from the wing. Van Vliet's got his first two points. Well, when you see somebody making pull-up jump shots like Van Vliet does there, you know that the rhythm is there. Pass to Mark. Six to shoot. And here's Nash. Those three-pointers off the mark. Now here's Porter, defended by Nash. 18 feet out. And Kevin Martin pulls it down. Back to Nash. To the paint. And stolen by Hamilton. Pass to Stackhouse. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Checking in. Second quarter to play with almost three minutes gone. Now here's Van Vliet. Evan Fournier. Seth Six on the shot clock. Over to the left wing. Here's Stackhouse. The train. That shot missing. Fournier gets a wide open look. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Evan Fournier. Well, you love the shooter's mentality that Evan Fournier possesses. Thinking of pulling up before he even makes the catch. Van Vliet. Count that one from Van Vliet. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit, who knows, but he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Left side, Fournier. Shoots the three. Hey. 
Back to Markinen. Good D by Love. One ten left now here on the second. From deep. Hits the three-point bomb. Hamilton's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Fournier, that's for two. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And as we've watched him develop, Zion has steadily improved his passing ability. Pass to Stackhouse. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Fred and he's good on the three ball. Three points. Van Vliet's got seven now in this quarter. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. And Porter, here we go. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Evan Fournier. And just using those long strides to just kind of knife through the team of the defense. Porter daring them to hit him on that one. Both teams will make substitutions. And Porter drops them both. 29 seconds left to play here in the half. Here is Nash. Going inside. Outside Fournier. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Fournier's got eight. Well, you love the leap that Fournier has taken in this area. This guy, a very dangerous shooter. Westfall. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride That's and making the plays. With a score, your home team, 20. The away team, 23. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach half. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And now they've chosen the full court man-to-man. -man. Stoudemire, the screen, down low. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the rebound. Out left to the wing. And Westfall gets it to go. Six points for him. And not just a scorer, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. Outside, marking it. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And you watch Porter. Unbelievable potential. He makes some plays that just leaves you shaking your head. Three-pointer, and Lowry Markinen with the three. Markinen's got his second best of the game. How about the shooting stroke for Markinen, appearing very comfortable pulling the trigger. Oh! Yes. Oh! Is Dane trying to get in the dunk contest? Look like it on that incredible finish. Picked by Markinen. Back to Martin. In the corner, Hardaway with it. Here's Stoudemire. Makes it off the glass. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. This is no excuse giving Lillard that kind of positioning. That's just too easy. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for your home team. Pass to Martin. Out to Stoudemire. Back to Martin. Now Stoudemire. Porter with the steal. Lillard outside. Here's Westfall. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And 
here is Stoudemire, guarded by Porter. Stoudemire drawing the double team. Curry looking it over. Just five on the clock. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. Get there, get there. Lillard outside. Out to the right wing. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Lock at six. Krill's the three pointer. Michael Porter Jr. Porter's got five points so far. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively, and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And it looks like they left a defensive effort back in the locker room, guys. They just haven't had the same commitment here defensively in the second half. Pass to Kemp to the middle, looking to end the run. Abdul Jabbar up top. Right wing, outside Porter, to the left wing. There's a screen by Porter. Lillard from deep three-point land. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Outside Curry. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the rebound. There's Porter with the three. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Tim Jr. Hardaway. That's foul number That's two for him. Personal foul. First team foul. Into the lineup for your home team. Jason Tatum. Timeout for a team. defense the home team a 12-point game pass to Van Vliet a three-pointer no good they need this one and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here that's his first and Van Vliet picks one up second team well Evan Fournier proving adept right in that instance of making the defense team. bite and put him at the free throw line and so Fournier nails both of them Boy, the game of basketball has exploded in Europe, and in one country in particular, France. Evan Fournier has been a fixture on the French national team, and he has got some incredible teammates. For three, Van Vliet nailed from three-point land. Van Vliet's got ten points. Well, Fred Van Vliet has become a true impact player. This guy remarkably consistent from deep. For three, Fournier... Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Takes the three. Back to Van Vliet. It's stolen by Curry. Here's Tatum. Love grabs the board. And now here's Hamilton, the fast break chance. No good with the triple. Curry outside. They get it back. Kemp. Here's Williamson, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit. Come on, fans. And they're... There have been two very different performances from these teams today. We get going in quarter number four. So it's the visitors now. Van Vliet, right side. Pass to Hamilton. From the high post, he drills it. Hamilton. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Back to Tatum. Here's Markinen. Out to Nash. The screen from Kemp to the inside. 
Back to Nash. Five on the clock. There's the triple. And Stackhouse pulls it down. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Great positioning on the putback. A flat out bulldog in the paint. Great job to follow his own shot there and get the basket. Hit by Markinen. And here's Nash outside. Trains the three pointer. And the jump shot of Nash. Poetry in motion. A super efficient shooter from downtown. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. Here's Hamilton. Oh, good on the three. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Pass to Tatum. Nash outside. Got it from 16 feet. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. And here's Van Fleet from the arc. Markinen pulls it in. Outside Fournier. Nash with it. Back to Kemp. Down low. And again, it's Steve Nash. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regroup. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Tatum. Inside. It's tipped. And they'll keep possession. Offside marking it. Second shot opportunity. And another shot. No one near him. And that one good. And you've got to love the energy right now. They got hot when they absolutely had to. It took a shift in strategy, but it seems like they figured it out. Let's see if they can extend this run all the way to the finish. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Pass to Stackhouse. Here's Hamilton. Misses the three. Tatum on the wing. And here's Nash outside. Worthy pulls it in. Here's Stackhouse. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. I'm not sure what he was thinking exactly, but he finds a way to convert. Offensive rebound. Outside Fournier. Bangs on the trifecta. Well, the assertiveness is on display. If Fournier gets any room, this guy's ready to pull the trigger. Here's Van Vliet. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always foul. reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for your home team. Amari. Van Vliet looking around. Over next. Off the left rim and out. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Outside, marking it. Pass to Nash. From deep. Great D that time from Van Vliet. Here's Stackhouse. Off target from outside. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. And even if Martin goes through ups and downs in other parts of his game, they can still depend on his three-point shooting. He tends to be very consistent from long range. There's Nash with the three. Pass to Stoudemire. James Worthy comes up with a rebound. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. 
that shot off. And so the road team gets the W in this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Yeah, really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later. The NBA on 2K Sports welcomes you to Wednesday Afternoon Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Outside Hardaway. Drives to the hoop. And then Hardaway with the dunk. A prolific slasher with some serious bounce. Hardaway Jr. Fun to watch. And as you can see, he still wears Hardaway Jr. on the back of his jersey card, showing respect for the path of his father went. And Kevin, how cool is that? You know, his dad, Tim Hardaway Sr., was an all-star point guard. And even if Jr. never makes an all-star game, he certainly is making his father proud. That's a real cool story for Hardaway. Pass to Nash. Stoudemire up top. Rebounded by Abdul Jabbar. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous score. Arkin in from outside. Worthy with the rebound. Got a piece of it. Pass to Westfall. And some very quick points for him on that possession. This is goes to. And he has value in a lot of different areas. But Westfall is at his best simply as a scorer. He can carry a team if he has to. Near the three point line, it's Nash. And it's off the back rim. No good. Here's Worthy, covered by Mark. To the wing, right side to the middle kicks it out to Lillard just four to shoot it's stolen by Martin here's Nash the shot no good good work defensively by Lillard pass to Westfall from the arc and it's Lillard missing Stoudemire with the ball Lillard picks him up Nash outside. And here is Markinen. Abdul Jabbar covering. The eight footer. Markinen, good. And Markinen is used to having the defense all over him. I mean, he's a marked man, especially this close. Somehow, though, he finds a way. The open shot by Worthy. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Nash outside Hardaway pass to Stoudemire now here's Nash back to Stoudemire and Stoudemire slams it in you know Nash is an excellent distributor a phenomenal floor general great at recognizing when his guys are open Lillard from outside that will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. Nash outside. 
Off target from outside. Baseline jumper. Stoudemire grabs the board. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Nash. Driving inside. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. 112 left in the first. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground Damian to a standstill. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Pass to Hardaway. Nash with it. Fasty move. That doesn't go either for Nash. Lillard with it. And it's Martin picking him up. Martin with the block. And he recovers it. And stolen by Lillard. The train. Rebounded by Hardaway. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Here's Nash. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the rebound. And now running up the court, Lillard pushing it up. That puts them in the lead. Three points. Lillard's got eight. And if you look at the stats for unassisted jump shot percentage, Lillard is always around the top. He, he can drain those pull-up jumpers as well as anybody in our league. There's 14 seconds left here in the first quarter. Jacks up a three. Buries it from three-point range. He's got five. Boy, you have to respect the quickness of Lillard now because he's excellent at using his hands to complement those quick feet to come up with steals. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. The Pistons up by six. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Kevin and they pick up two. Assisted by Love's got his first Fred bucket in this one. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. The screen from Kemp to the paint. Good D by Love. And guys, they look to set it up in the half court. Well, that's when you got to rely more on your defense and try to get out in the open floor. Oftentimes, you can develop your rhythm offensively when you get easy baskets. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Curry with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. Williamson outside. Going inside. Rejected by Van Vliet. Outside Fournier. Just five to shoot. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Kemp can't hit. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And you are going to pay every time you don't box out love. He has a real nose for coming up with those offensive putbacks. It's three outside. It's hauled in by Michael Porter. And you watch Porter. Unbelievable potential. He, he makes some plays that just leaves you shaking your head. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Curry outside. They get the rebound. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. It's good on the putback. 
Always good to see the young fella, Porter Jr., outwork the opposition on the glass that time. And the rejection by Tatum. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. Substitution for your home team. Amari Stoudemire. Tim Here's Van Vliet. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Lock at four. To the wing on the left. Wow, drew the contact in that three. Almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for the away team. And the team has talked, Greg, about having high hopes for Porter. What does he need to do, though, to reach that next level? Yeah, and frankly, more maturity is going to lead to greater consistency. He missed his only season in college, missed his first season in the NBA, and this guy's still making up for lost time. Here's Kemp. Shakes him. In the corner, Hardaway with it. The eight-footer. And it's Stoudemire missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. For your home team, Larry Markkinen. 137 left in the first half. Van Vliet can't get it to go. A shot like that is a polite way to say, hey, coach, bench me. <laughs> hey, that's crazy that there. Insanity. At least wait until you get across half court. My goodness. And here's Van Vliet from the yard. Van Vliet. Good on the three-point shot. Van Vliet's got six. Um, yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Pass to Nash. From deep three-point range. And Stackhouse pulls it down. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Richard Hamilton. Nailed from three-point land. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. 